If you believe that the radical left isn't after your children, you're ignoring the fact that they very, very clearly are after your children. So Nickelodeon actually broadcast, I'm not kidding you, a video from a drag queen named Nina West. Doesn't it just fill you with pride? Showing who you are on the inside With the pride flag up high Be true to you Well, hello, kitties. It's your friendly neighborhood watchman again. And today, I'm here bringing you a video which just came out of the blue. Coincidentally, I came across a tweet on Twitter. Yes, I know. I know. Every so often, we can find a pearl among the mud and dirt that is the social media platform. This is from a gay man, quote unquote, who goes by the Twitter handle tinfoil. It struck me as it was poignant. It was fantastic, in my opinion. It was written and touched upon in many, many things that's been going on and has gone on in our society. I said it was uh, fantastic and bittersweet also because of how far our society has fallen. It's getting a lot of action and I'm sure it's just gonna go higher <laughs> as we speak. But I digress. Uh, let's get to this message from a gay man. It wasn't enough. A message to the left from a gay man. It wasn't enough. Okay, you're angry because of the reversal of Roe versus Wade. Okay, you're angry because you think they will come for gay marriage next and gay relations. Okay. Let's see whose fault is that per se. Any guesses? We're looking right at the issue now. You. All we gay, bi, lesbians, and even some sane transgender people wanted was to be able to live our lives as normal people and blend in with the rest of the community, with our partners. We got that back in 2015. And we were good with it. In fact, we were closing the fight after that. However, for you, it wasn't enough. You sent your minions to a Christian baker who just wanted to bake cakes and follow his belief in God. You didn't want to go to the next store. You chose him so you could attack his beliefs. You did so, so many times over. I am surprised he's still in business. It wasn't enough. You began pushing Pride Month where corporations would virtue signal by putting pride labels on their logos. You pushed it in every TV station across America why they had to sit there and deal with the crap for an entire month. Yet the birth of our nation, July 4, only gets one day. Our veterans who fought for our freedom in this country only get one day. It wasn't enough. You push your ways into workplaces and demanded that anyone who disagrees with LGBT needs to be silenced and fired just for voicing their opinion. All for equality. It wasn't enough. You then force your ways into the schools, silencing and shaming any opposition. If anyone said anything, even us gay people, we were all silenced, shamed and even attacked at our workplace by getting us fired. It wasn't enough. You push your way through, convincing society that children under the age of 18 were transgender at the drop of the hat. They needed access to hormone blockers and surgery. If people disagreed, they were bigots, transphobes, haters, evil. It wasn't enough. We now have trans people who transitioned at an early age and are now regretting decisions that have forever mutilated their bodies and their lives destroyed. Yet, when they speak up, they were silenced too, and called transphobes. It wasn't enough. Now you have transgender activists calling out gay men that if they don't want to accept trans men as men, that they're homophobic. Even though by definition, being gay means attracted to the same sex, not gender. You call us homophobic, 
transphobic and attempted to silence us. It wasn't enough. We now have drag queens reading to kids in libraries, doing very sexual, erotic dances, exposing themselves. Yet you want to call that teaching equality. So we just got done with the Drag Your Kid to Pride event at Mr. Mr. in downtown Dallas, and I am here with... Noelle Sinclair. Yeah! So do you think exposing children to drag will result in more um, kids doing drag eventually? I think so, um, and, and I hope so because like I, like I said, it's the biggest confidence booster. Like, yes, it can be negative at times, but, but I, I think that drag builds confidence. Like, I don't know, I, ju I just think that if you are here to protect children, let the children be themselves. Yeah. What do you say to the children whose parents wouldn't bring them to an event like this? There is love. If you're not feeling it from your parents, someone loves you. We love you. I'm getting emotional. If anyone spoke up against it again, you call us transphobe, homophobe, and Nazis. It wasn't enough. Now we have teachers pushing LGBT ideology along with pornographic books and teaching about wild sex positions while calling it LGBT sex education. When we called it out, you called us Nazis, bigots, homophobes. Now we have more pride events with full nudity and very explicit actions being done in front of children. We have sex kink being brought into the mix in front of children. We have parents bringing their kids to pride, exposing them to this stuff. When we called it out, you screamed the same names, transphobe, homophobe, Nazi, and then some. We see what you are trying to do. You're normalizing pedophilia. However, myself and many other sane LGBT peeps are calling you assholes out. We're not going to let you do it. You destroyed equality for us, so we're going to make your lives miserable. You're not going to keep this going. It's ending now. We will call you out, expose you all to the world when you start feeling that anger and hate flow toward you. Calling us homophobe, transphobe, it is no longer going to work. You've played your card too long and it ends. You only have yourself to blame because it wasn't enough for you. It won't be enough for us until every single one of you are brought to the same sort of justice. You're pedophiles. You are the monsters in the shadow wanting to get close to any kid around. You want to pervert them so you can normalize grooming them. Nope, not anymore. Get ready because we're coming for you. And we're bringing hell with us, just for you. There is no more discussion, no more reasoning, no more anything. You put this on you all because it wasn't enough. Sincerely, the LGBT community who just wanted equality. Kaboom. Drop the mic. What, it's gonna be a civil war between the LGBT community? Many of us could see the signs. I mentioned it in one of my past videos about pedophilia, pedophiles, the attempted normalization of pedophilia. It started slowly, timidly, dipping the toe in the water, so to speak. You saw it in some rare tweets few years back, try to latch on the coattails of the trans LGBT acceptance and make no mistake, just emboldens them. Or in they say that just like being gay or bi, they were born this way, being sexually attracted to children. 
They can't help it. It's not a crime, just like it's not a crime for a man to be sexually attracted to another man or a woman toward another woman. We can't let that happen. We can't let that be normalized. That will be the end of this country. It will be some deviant modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah, as if it isn't already in some places. But I digress, people. Unfortunately, it's um, nothing, nothing to laugh about here. As I said, it's bittersweet. It is uh, well-written, in my opinion, and uh, melancholy. Melancholy that something like this had to be written. Where 50 years ago, most people would, would bet their lives nothing like this would ever be normal place. So folks, on this, I'll close it out by asking you to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so that you'll know when another one of my videos will mm, drop. And as always, I bid you peace. Dancing for little children? You don't think that's disgusting? Dancing around for little children? Away from me. Don't you Stand think that's disgusting? I need you to hey, get away. Think that's, get the you fuck think, away. Hey, well, you can't just touch me. You don't think hey, that's disgusting? You can't just touch me. You Your mom's a bitch. Go on. You don't think that's ahead, disgusting? Dancing for He's little children. Phone you, phone should be a, you, you should be ashamed of yourself I dancing for little children. You should be ashamed no, of yourself. I fuck him. Is he a child? No. Oh you, got, you guys God. dance with little children. Whore. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You're disgusting. Think about what you just did. Okay, that's fine, but you dance naked in front of little children. You did, you did. You did. Stop. You did. Stop. Stop. You're dancing for little Stop. children.